PowerPoint slides. I start recording this webinar, so from now on, um, we'll have everything. Sigrid, can you please um, assure me that you can see my screen? Okay, great. So, um, just a little brief introduction about Intlog, you know, you've already know us and you've been using Cardiolog for quite a while or your new users. Um, Cardiolog, um, Intlog has been uh, founded in 2005 and since then we found ourselves a niche uh, with um, developing uh, marketing tools and, uh, cardio and analytics for SharePoint. This was our golden key. But with time and with development, we've also understood that many people are working with SharePoint and with many different applications and many additional tools with other softwares, with other platforms. So what we do nowadays is we also monitor any other platforms and we monitor a lot of applications that you have on the site that you use with SharePoint. With SharePoint, we do integration in a way that because we're built for SharePoint, we can monitor any SharePoint portal that you want from 2003 to 2013. Of course, we do um, integration with Yammer, with Citrion, with two the three, three third-party applications like um, CRM and some um, HR softwares. So um, this is what we're lately focusing on to monitor all SharePoint portals and also additional applications. Now. The agenda for today's webinar is going to be just a little introduction about the professional package and what does it want to offer you. After that, we'll go to the different segments that you have in the professional um, in, in the professional services as they're offered as different segments. You can do customization, um, customized reports, consulting services, enhanced tracking, data integration, data optimization, and data export. I will go through each one of them real quick. And and if anybody of you is interested and want more information, we can always schedule um, an additional demo where I can show you things also how they sit in the demo environment. Now let's go ahead and start with the introduction. So our professional services offer you a highly customized plan and method for, and method for using Cardiolog Analytics or SharePoint Marketing Suite to the best benefit you and your organization, for you and your organization, meaning that um, if you it it all cardiolog comes with a vast amount of reports we can do special um we can do special um involvement in you using those reports, understanding which reports are the most important for you, creating customized reports and also building goals for your SharePoint better um, um optimized for your SharePoint optimization and for the better performance of SharePoint. Now let's start with um, what do we focus on. In Cardiolog and in SharePoint Marketing Suite, we focus on monitoring, um, in-depth monitoring of your portals, understanding what is happening, and of course we use um, the engagement package, which I really hope most of you are using. If you're not using this by now, I will make sure um, if you have any questions to send you more information how you can start creating your personal voice of customer too, for example, your customers, your personal surveys, so you can engage your portal users, the A-B testing, the behavioral targeting, these are all tools that engage your users in order for you to better understand your portal. And once we gave you the best results of the monitoring of your SharePoint portal or SharePoint intranet um, site or any portal that you have, of course we engage the portal users, we understand what is happening, we give the results with our new professional services, we help you how to understand those results in order for us to enhance the SharePoint portal in order for us to optimize it, in order for us to make your users much more satisfied and finish their work much faster. Now let's start with customized reports. What do we mean by, by customized reports? We all know share, we all know Cardiolog or SharePoint Marketing Suite by now. We've all touched it once, we've all played with it once. Now what do we want to do with it? We have a lot of uh, metrics over there. We have tables, charts, clocks, maps that carry a lot of metrics over there. We can have a report that has a table for unique users that shows you an information of um, which are the unique users that visit a specific page. Uh, what was the duration um, that they, what was the time duration, the time that spent on that page? Um, where did they go after that? So you have a table that includes information about unique users and you have another table that includes information about documents, let's say, or about portal growth. 
With customized reports, our main point here and our main focus here is to build tailored reports based on your requirements. Meaning, if you want to have a table with different metrics that we already have um, in different tables, you can create a table with the specific metrics that we that you want. So if you have a table and it doesn't have all of the metrics that you expect, we can add this metric or we can create a table with the exact metrics that you want. What does what um, in which way does that help you? It helps you to get the most valuable information for you, the information that you need in order to read your goal to optimize SharePoint like achieve ultimate SharePoint portal productivity based on custom-made reports specifically designed for your organization stockholders. Um, another example for this is I'm going to show this picture here. I hope everybody sees it good. What we did here is we created a site collection report, meaning that here you have the main site. Under it you have all of the sub-sites that it includes. Next to it you have um, the owner, who is the owner of each one of those subsites and all and of the main site, what is the size of each one of the subsites and of the main site, um, and here max quota means what is the maximum size that this site can reach. So you have up to 20,000 and here it shows you that it's 14,000. So you can grow it a little bit with 6,000 um, additional MB. Here you see last modified when each one of those subsites was last modified and they and the days since it was last um, accessed. So when it was last accessed, okay, five days ago, 57 days ago, and etc. So this is a table that we create. It's a custom table that we create for one um, of our customers for their requirements. So any table that you need you can add and you can create so let's go ahead and continue after we understand the use of customized reports they can not only be on tables they can build different charts if you want to compare as uh, most of you know that in charts you can compare data let's say how many views I have for a page for this month and how many views I had for last month. In those charts you can have different information to compare. So again, we can customize these to uh, prior to your own requirements. Um, and this thing can be also, the customized reports are something that can be also understood after we better understand your SharePoint goals. So what is the main point here? Consulting services and the overview. It's to understand the insights within your analytics reports. It's to understand um, the goals of your SharePoint portal, to learn how to successfully engage your users, to increase user productivity by understanding all of the previous information, and maximize portal collaboration, optimize your portal. Of course, if you know, if you set up your goals and you know what you would expect from card, what you will expect from SharePoint Analytics, um, sorry, from your SharePoint portal, the ones that you set up those goals, um, you can further go and enhance and put more work into the way you would like to maneuver around your SharePoint portal and change some information and make it uh, much more accessible and much easier for your users and just bring um, ROI and optimize the SharePoint portal. So what do we mean by consulting services? Let's go over that. First of all, we offer those um, those meetings that we can sit and you can explain us how do you work with SharePoint and what are the things that you maybe don't understand and what are the things that you maybe wanted to succeed or to reach. From there on we made a plan and we put those goals. We put the goals and we put the ROI expectations. Once we understood that we help you understand which reports exactly you have to create in order to understand those goals, in, in, sorry, in order to reach those goals. Now, we've already created this. Imagine this as a ladder and we're climbing on the ladder. The first step of the ladder is for us to put, to set our goals in order for our SharePoint to um, 
to act and to be used much easier. Second of all is we want to write down and to understand to set which are those reports that will show us the information for us to reach the goal. So this is the second ladder, okay? Now the third ladder is the end user's understanding um, and uh, use of analytics. So what do we need? In order for us to give the right reports, we need the right people to understand those reports. Cardiolog analytics gives you a vast amount of reports, right? A lot of numbers. Now you need to understand those numbers, okay? And what is the best part here is that in the third ladder we help you understand the numbers. We basically show you which report has to go to which person, has to go to which department, has to go to which end user, and from there on, we also help to understand those numbers. So, um, what those numbers say? How do we need to act after we have, let's say, a lower amount of visits for this month compared to a higher amount last month? So, what are the weak points that we have? How do we want to upgrade them? How do we want to um, eliminate weak points and focus only on strengthening our strong points? Um, so, this is Rather, this is step number three. Now, step number four is end user searches key adoption measurement. So, we want to know what are those things searched on your portal to better understand what people can find and what people cannot find. So, once we know what is searched and once we understand what is the main topics and the main data that your users are searching for, we can create this and um, transfer this to um, a key adoption measurement, understanding what information should be portrayed much more visible, what are the things that should be put in, in different sites, what are the things that should be created sub-libraries or, or special libraries for them. We can understand all of this by understanding our main search reports by setting the search reports. Now, engagement of portal user via segmentation and personalization methods. Now, on the fifth ladder, of course, we on the fifth ladder, we sit and we speak with you about segmentations. So, yes, you have a report, you collect data in this report, but which data exactly you create, you collect in this report. You would like to segment it. You would like to set up a group of people that will be counted in this report. You would like to set up a group of documents that will be counted on this report. So we do in-depth segmentation and we help you to understand what segmentation you have to do in order to get the best results for you hiring and um, making a much better ROI next month. So this is the fifth ladder. And the sixth ladder, the final ladder, after we just reach the top and we go ahead from there and optimize our SharePoint portal, is to just understand what information should be given to who. So in optimization term rules for shareholders, we give, fe we give um, features like A-B testings, behavioral targeting, features that help you understand what information has to be given to whom. Let's say you have development, let's, let's say you have the developers department and they search for some document for hours. Why not just put this link for this document in the home page because you know that the developers are looking for it. So make a home page giving different information, giving one information for your developers and giving another information for your marketers. So we help you um, distinguish between the most valuable information that should be shown to different departments, to different groups of people, to different groups of Active Directory groups or um, SharePoint attributes, features that you have. So this is the six step ladder in order for reach, in order for us to understand uh, what are the goals and how do we reach and how do we succeed in reaching those goals to make SharePoint fully optimized to make it use um, easier for all of your portal user and to expand the ROI expectation for next month and for many more months up to come. So our consulting services are to sit there and understand how simply to enhance the SharePoint portal. We sit there and step by step to those six steps understand how to create this. And the next thing is enhanced tracking. Now in enhanced tracking, what we do is 
we help you not only gather information about um, in, in, in Cardilog in general, we don't only give reports for, let's say, documents, information, data for users. We also want to know what are the applications on our website, on our internet portal, and how are they used. Let's say we have a new video that is um, showing our new features that we have on SharePoint, and we would like our end users to use these features. Or if we're having um, a SharePoint website, we're showing a new vi video with the new um, products that we're offering. So we want to know how many people actually viewed this video, how long did they stay on that video, after this video where did they stop, when did they continue, who were the people, um, where did they go after that. And did they succeed the final goal of being interested in this, pro in this product that we're offering or in this information that we were offering um, in our intranet portal? Did they um, have the better understanding of this? And what we do here is we track visitor interactions in your portal, such as clicks on buttons, form field completion. Let's say we have a webinar upcoming and we have a huge paper that they, not the huge, and they have a paper that it has different questions over there. Fill up your name, your email, um, your expectations from the webinar. So we want to know which exact fields were mostly filled or how many people actually filled those fields. So we can create a specific report showing us who actually went to that form and who filled that form. Another thing that we can do is if you have four or five webinars, you want to know which is the webinar that had the most subs sub subscriptions for, right? So we can create a page that will show you which one of those webinars was highly attended, which one of those webinars has the most submissions. So therefore, you can after tracking those actions in your portal, you can gain insight um, on your user's behavior in the portal and learn about common patterns. What are the common patterns of the users? How would you like to invest much more in those specific inform in that specific information they're looking for? Or not only that, the information that was not so much looked for, how can we um, change it in order for it to become the most uh, the most viewed information. We would like to switch, so we would like to create a marketing campaign. So you can do all of these by understanding that reports that are not only reports out of the box, but are reports that help you to track um, to track any um, applications that you have on your portal. It can be not only videos or form uh, submission or form um, charts, it can be also uh, banners, if you have banners, any advertisements that you have on your portal or on your SharePoint um, website. So this is enhanced tracking. Now, what am I showing you here is the report based on that enhanced tracking. What is it? It's the video tracking, right? So what happens here is here in website item, I will choose the video tracking, sorry for that. I will choose the video that I would like to be tracked and in the table here I will have all of the names of all of the names of the people that view that um, video. I will have how many views they had So it's views, so you have the different names, you have how many views, um, you have the duration on last view, and you have comments. And you have the comments. Now, this is the different tables that we create for the APA tracking. Let's continue with data integration. Data integration helps you as a software user, right? We use SharePoint, we use Cardiolog, but we use many more additional applications. It could be a business intelligence, it could be CRM, it could be HR system, it could be um, any additional application that you have, Salesforce, it can be um, the new Yammer. So what we do here is we basically help you take any data from Cardiolog and 
display it in that additional software that you're using. So you don't need to have a report and display it in your business intelligence software. No, you want to have only a segment, only a metric from Cardiolog, the specific data, let's say only views on a specific page. So you take that data and you display it as you see the picture here. You display it in that specific place in uh, the additional software. Um, you have one dashboard that shows you in the business intelligence, in the CRM, in the HR system, you have one dashboard that shows you all of the information for the software itself that it's separate from SharePoint and also the information that is taken from Cardiolog that is applicable for SharePoint. So you have that one interface that portrays a lot of um, different information that when compared you can understand your end users better. You can understand also the overall use of the softwares in your um, in your business and enhance it from there and improve it. Um, concretely understand and generate customized reports data on your services and applications within your environment via a single analytic dashboard and that's the main point here. Now what I'm showing you here is the CRM. Okay, let's better understand this that this is two ways. This data integration here is two ways. You can either portray the information from Cardiolog into another software or vice versa. You can take the information from this business intelligence software, from the CRM and portray it in Cardiolog. Okay, now let me show you this example. This is an example of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. What I show you here is this, sorry, is this table this table here that is taken from Cardiolog, right? It shows me which pages this user has viewed, how many views that it has, um, how, what was the duration and what was the exit rate um, from each one of those page views. And this is for that specific ID, for that specific person. Okay? Now let's go ahead and after enhance tracking, jump to data, uh, sorry, after data integration jump to data optimization. The best part of enhancing your portal and understanding is, is understanding what you have to exclude. You need to take the most valuable information and you need to exclude the noisy information. So what we help you do in data optimization is create specific blacklists. For now Cardiolog and SharePoint Analyte and SharePoint Marketing Suite offer you to create blacklists, but for specific segments and for specific features. Here you can create a blacklist for any feature, any data, any user, anything that you have that is not included out of the box, you can create those blacklists. And we help you understand which is that data that is not so valuable that you don't need to collect in your report in order for you to get the most valuable data and get complete control of your SharePoint usage data. Data export is one um, of the last things that our professional services include and data export is something that um, helps you as data integration which helps you to portray any data from Cardiolog to any software and vice versa. Data export helps you to take a specific report from Cardiolog or from SharePoint Marketing Suite and portray it anywhere you want. So I want to create a report on page views and I want to take the information of these page views and put it um, somewhere in my um, SharePoint. Meaning that let's say I want to create a page in SharePoint that will show links only for the top page views, for the 10 top page views for last month. And I have created this report in Cardiolog, right? So Cardiolog is connected to SharePoint and in SharePoint you have a list of the most important of the top 10 page views, views for last month, okay? Top, um, top 10 pages. Now what happens is that if in Cardiolog this report change and the page views and the pages change, like some other pages become more viewed than the last that were last month, this will automatically change in your SharePoint portal. So you're taking the report, you're taking the information from Cardiolog and you're implementing it in your SharePoint portal and you can implement it in any interface that you want. So it can be um, either different links, it can have any design that you want. So this is data export. Maximize collaboration and increase overall organization productivity by sharing data and reports from 
Cardiolog Analytics and SharePoint Marketing Suite, Suite to other key services and applications. And let's do our last point, then I'll stop and I'll ask you if you have any questions and we'll take five minutes to answer anything that you have, five to ten minutes if you have time to answer any questions that you have. So features. What features are we speaking about here? Cardiolog comes with a lot of features and with every new version that we have, uh, we try to add more features that will be more helpful for you. But as our loyal customers, as the ones that use Cardiolog, we want to understand what exactly you need from Cardiolog. So any features that you think of and you want us to create it and develop it for you, and of course, integrated and implemented in Cardiolog or SharePoint Marketing Suite, this will be highly appreciate from us. So here we give you the opportunity to suggest product developments and features to provide an even more advanced solution and services based, based on your needs. And what is the value? The value is use custom features unavailable on the market. So probably you know other tools, probably you know other um, analytic solutions and you know all of the tools that are out there and you know all of the features that are out there so maybe there is something that is missing here and there and that you want to have this so we're ready to take it and create it so features that are unavailable on the market to benefit and resolve your SharePoint challenges and queries and what's new in Cardiolog? We already know what's new. Uh, I've sent you tons of emails. Is we do integration with SharePoint 2013. We do integration with SharePoint Online. As we already spoke about um, integration with any other applications that you have. And is it CRM? Is it Salesforce? Is it Yammer? So what is the main point of the professional services that we offer here? For you, not only to use Cardiolog as it is out of the box and just create reports and send them to the end users, no. To really enhance your SharePoint portal on the results that you have in the Cardiolog or in SharePoint Analytics. Because everybody can has reports, everybody can has numbers. Yeah, great, okay, so the numbers from this month are lower than the month numbers for, next, for, for last month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go and like change color or something. No, the main point here is to take those numbers understand them and really put an effort to enhance your SharePoint portal and as you've already put an effort and put funds in SharePoint in Cardiolog in SharePoint marketing suite so just take them grab them and really enhance this really make a profit out of this so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm gonna read any questions that you have up to now and if you want I can even unmute or just unmute yourself I don't know if I can do this here in um, this application but um, just write to me and I'll go over the questions and I'll make sure to answer any questions that you have or any remarks that you have anything that you tell me here it will be great for me to um, improve Cardiolog. So this webinar is not only for you asking me about questions about okay so this service do that or this service do that. This webinar is also for you to give me ideas and for me to understand how are you doing with Cardiolog or SharePoint Marketing Suite. What are your other expectations for it to enhance your SharePoint tool? Do you understand um, the usages? Do you understand the reports? This is the main point. So I'm going to give you a minute to write your uh, your questions and I'm going to read the questions that I have up till now. Okay, let me go ahead and answer the first question that I have here. Um, just a second, let me read it. The first question that I have is, can you show how to create a new report?
Hello, this is uh, Sigalit speaking. Um, in order to answer the question, what I wanted to uh, mention is that in order to create custom reports that are not out of the box, we have our SDK. With the use of SDK, developers can develop any custom report you'd like, like Bella showed, any, any table with any column, or take even information from other sources. And what we have is a tool for developers to create those widgets. They can select if they want tables or charts or meters or a map like we have in the product. And this widget will be added to the menu with all of the other widgets that we have out of the box. And eventually the developers will also develop the um, report itself, or us, of course, if we're talking about um, what we can do for you, and um, retrieve the information you're interested in exactly and display it uh, within the uh, widget in Cardiolog. And the next question here is, is there an option to drill down the information from a graphic? Um, this is something that requires development. This is something that we can sit and understand what exactly you need to drill down to. And after our developers understand this, they can sit and develop this specifically for you. So this is one of the features that we can develop. Let's see if we have any other questions. What is the name of this SDK to develop new reports? So um, the name um, is SDK. It's called SDK. And let me see um, if you can just send me an additional, um, an additional email. I will send you more information about this SDK. Um, let me just write who asked this so I can send the information. So yes, so the SD, so this package is called SDK. Um, I will send you more information about it. I will also um, include any um, any helpful um, features over there that can help you for this to be um, fulfilled and to be developed. Um, now let's see if we have any other questions. Can I build new reports? Um, you can build new reports in Cardiolog as it is. Um, you can just create your new reports. Or if you want a specific report that, can, that does not come out of the box, this is also something that we need to schedule um, a session with, with you, your developers, uh, your end users, and understand what exact report you want us to build. And we will build this report for you. Um, I would like to ask you if you could just be more specific and if you're asking me if you yourself can, this build, can, be, can build this report or if you need our assistance. Okay, so um, just to clarify this, in order to build a new report, this requires development again and it's something that our developers need to sit and understand and do it. It's not something that, that, that you can create um, alone. Um, let's answer the next question. What is the language to program like Java? SQL. So the language to program is SQL. Just a second. So in order um, for us to, to better understand you, um, it's not something that we need to have a session and sit and understand what you need to create. And therefore, you can, we, can, we can better understand if this is something that you can create with the help of SDK. And over there, you can ask which language and etc. Or if this is something that requires our assistance as well. Because some things are easy to develop. And some things um, we have considered and we have uh, built the SDK package in order for you to be able to build alone. But there are additional things that cannot be built by your, by, from your side. These are other uh, specific 
uh, customizations that we need to understand in order to build for you. Um, I hope this answers your questions and are there any other questions that I can answer here? I'll wait just one more second and see. What else I can do? What else I can answer to? Okay, so um, the next question was is about um, is about just a second. Let me read it. The next question is about um, blacklists and um, how do we create blacklists. Well, this is again something that um, in order for us to do um, any of those professional services, we the first thing that we need to do is just to schedule a very short session with you, um, session a very short call with you to understand what are um, your exact requirements, and therefore we just develop everything for you. So. We offer you to wish for anything that you want to have on your car on your cardiolog analytics or on your SharePoint marketing suite, and from there on, uh, we assist you, we develop it for you, we help you build it. So it can be any any blacklist that you would like to create. Okay, so for now on, I don't see that I have any other questions. And what I'm going to do is, um, as I told you, by the middle of next week, I will send you the recordings of this webinar. I will send you a little bit more information. And I would like to greatly thank you for you joining me today for this webinar, for being here. And if any of you has any questions or anything, you know my name. I'm Bella. I am your, the account manager for most of you here. And I'll be happy to assist with any information that you need. Um, if you have any additional questions, yeah, just please send me an email and um, I will be um, ready to answer as fast as possible and provide you with all of the information. Well, thank you everybody. Um, have a great day and um, talk to me on email or just